First of all, Mark, commiserations. The manner in which it panned out, it's tough to take. But I mean, it was a it was a good performance throughout the match. And I mean, how are you feeling after that one? <clears throat> I think uh, I've said it in there. You know, I've had some like 950 games or something as a manager, and only twice before have I felt as badly as I feel now. Once, as manager of Millwall, we lost the players to Birmingham, which went to Premiership, and once, as manager of Wolves, we lost to Crystal Palace for the same thing. And this equals that feeling. I'm, I'm speechless. I'm not. At, I'm not spending a lot of time in there talking. I've had nothing to say to them. I mean, I, I'm lost for words. I, I can't believe what I saw in the last 10 minutes of the game. Just on this sort of stage, it's about that concentration, obviously. But looking forward, Mark, what, what do you take from this in terms of going back into league action next week against Rangers again? I, I can't think about that now, pal. Uh, uh, it's beyond me. You know, the only thing I can think about right now is just the feeling that I've got when. I keep reliving that last 10 goal and I just can't get it out of my head and I won't for a long, long time, regardless of what happens next week. Uh, you know, there was an opportunity here today and the plan went well. We didn't play anywhere near as I wanted to in the first half in terms of possession, but we got away with it. And then, uh, you know, the last 10 minutes, well, what can I say? As much as the performance was, there was a lot of positives to take, Mark. Does it surprise you still when mistakes like that can happen and with just minutes left to go? It shouldn't surprise me, I suppose, but yeah, certainly didn't expect it to. We'd lose the game like that, of course, they're going to put pressure on you. And when they scored the equaliser with a few minutes to go, you think, mm, we've got to see this out. But you don't expect to lose it in that way. You know, it's just unbearable, really. We could talk about the players and how they recover from this, but obviously, Mark, you go through all the motions on the touchline and it's a tough one to take for yourself. How do you look it forward for you? I mean, you know, I, I, I'll get back and I'll some, find some sort of story for them to justify how we think we can beat Rangers. This, right at this moment in time, I don't have that. I don't have that answer. Uh, right at this moment in time, I really don't have monkeys about the players uh, because I'm, I'm hollow, you know, I'm, I feel let down. I feel, you know, I can't describe to you how bad I feel. It's, uh, you know, I'm sure the supporters are the same. It was there for us, and you know, it, we were architects of our own downfall again. Just, you know, it, it, it's just hard, hard, hard to be. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Mark.